Yeah, it's sort of early in the morning, and I've sort of had a rather sleepless night for a couple reasons, and that's the reason I decided to address this situation. Because uh, when I had decided to uh, do the Sid Haig uh, tribute issue, I honestly felt I would run into some bullshit down the road after it was published, but what I didn't realize is I run into some fucking whining bullshit before it even uh, hit the, the stand, so to speak. Um, when I first decided to do this, I had posted on the, this page that uh, anybody who wanted to contribute anything, any thoughts, memories, or interactions with Sid was more than welcome to do it. Uh, the response, as you can guess, was overwhelming. But when it hit the 11th hour, unfortunately, four or five people bailed out on me and I had to scramble to finish the stuff. Well, yesterday, I believe that uh, uh, Mike Watt had put... Um, the uh, cover uh, art on his page and announced that uh, the Grindhouse Purgatory Sid Haig tribute issue would be available in late March. Okay, that's fine. Right after that was put up on uh, Facebook, I started getting PMs. And I get a PM from a certain party who I will not uh, give him the benefit of divulging his name or the organizations that he's worked for or some of these other people that have contacted me with some derogatory shit going on. Um, the bottom line is that uh, this person and some other people obviously felt that they should have been contacted, they should have been included, and now they're all butthurt about not being included. And then the real zinger to the whole thing was that someone accused me of making money off of Sid. Um, for the record, I'm doing this out of the goodness of my heart and the fact that I loved Sid, he was a good friend at one point and an icon in the business, and he never fucked his fans. As for me, making money off someone, it's fucking bullshit because the magazine makes zero fucking money. The magazine basically, one issue pays for the next issue, and if there's any extra fucking money floating around, it's beer money for me. Um... Like I said, I didn't get into putting out Grindhouse Purgatory to make a profit. I got into it to keep something I love going. And unfortunately, people are making me love doing this less and less. Um, getting back to the one person, he was involved with some of these big cons that um, I don't deal with for the simple fact people go, well, how come you're not at this con and that con? Well, ask the promoter. It has nothing to do with me. I don't have an agent. I don't have a booking agent. Uh... This person claimed that uh, nobody's interviewed Sid more than I have. I interviewed him eight times. Well, you know, maybe we don't want to hear the fucking devil's reject story that comes out at these goddamn conventions eight fucking times because having interviewed Sid a couple times myself and having done a four-hour interview with Sid, it seems that at the end of the day, the only thing a lot of people are interested in is the damn House of, House of a Thousand Corpses and Devil's Rejects, which Sid was a lot more than that. Um... I also threw out the fact that, you know, you were working for this big convention and, and I was never invited there. Well, then he threw out something about, well, he had nothing to do with the booking. Well, you were there, dude, and you know something? We all know the fucking story. You got screwed at the end of the day, too, because most of these big conventions, and I've been involved with one of the biggest ones, um, it's all about the promoter. They let the, the guests get away with whatever they can get away with, and... Um, like I said, you know, one of the bigger shows is hitting its 30th anniversary uh, this year, and it'll be 30 years of me being involved in the business, yet that convention erased every fucking memory of me being involved in it. So that's the, the total lack of respect I got from that, but that's neither here nor there. My beef is that I put that post up when I first started this shit about anybody who wanted to get involved. And the fact that this person goes, well, I'm not involved in that group. Well, did you ever ask to be in that group? No, you didn't. So I guess I was expected to track down every person on the planet who had some kind of interaction with Sid. Maybe they met him in the grocery store or something like that. And yeah, I'm being an asshole saying this because it's bullshit and we know it. Um, I had some very solid people contact me and we got some very good articles. As a matter of fact, one guy even reached out to Jack Hill and got something from him. So... Like I said, this whole magazine is a labor of love, but right about now, I'm just, like, tweaked because I lost sleep over this thing. I can't believe that people would go after me, you know, saying that I excluded them, when I'm never included in any of their shit. 
So this whole inc exclusion thing and me excluding people from writing from Grindhouse Purgatory is bullshit. I never excluded anybody. And I don't believe I've ever turned anybody down for an interview. If somebody asked me to write something for them, like Exploitation Nation just asked me to write something the other day, I've always been obliging. I, I, I honestly cannot think of any time I've been, you know, other than exposing some bullshit that went on with some certain conventions, I can't... Um, recall anything I ever did derogatory toward the business or a fan or a customer or anything like that. I like to think I've treated most people I've come in contact with with respect and given them the best I can. I find that a lot of the disrespect aimed toward me is the fact that you can't get over on me. You can't get free shit out of me. You're not going to get on my uh, free copy fucking list because there is no such fucking thing. Um, like I said, a lot of this shit I don't get, and maybe it's going to come off as sour grapes, but I'm just pissed that I lost a night's sleep over this shit, and it's making me rethink why I even do some of this stuff anymore. So, to the guys that reached out, that contributed some stuff, and, it, we, and I've seen you know what's going on with the thing, and there's a lot of great shit that's going to be in this issue, and it, it's, it's a true tribute to Sid, and that's all I was looking to do. I wasn't looking to line my pockets at the expense of a guy who passed away. I was looking to, to shine some light on his career, his whole career, not just his shit with Rob Zombie and House of a Thousand Corpses and Devil's Rejects, his entire career, which spanned 50 fucking years of being in the business. And Sid was a great guy and deserves a lot of respect and a lot of us miss him. And just for the fact that I got called out on this shit just pisses me the fuck off and pissed off my whole fucking day. So, sorry if this sounded like sour grapes, but I gotta get this out of my system and this is the only way I could figure out how, so... Again, people got a problem with me, bring it to me. Don't start talking on the internet with this shit, because this is fucking bullshit. I'd like to think that people would consider me a stand-up guy and I do the right thing, but obviously, to a lot of people, that if they're not included, I'm a scumbag.